Hi there, I'm Gabriel Morris. I'm a traveler and a writer. I'm author of Following My Thumb, A Decade of Unabashed Wanderlust, which uh, chronicles 26 of my travel stories from around the world in the 1990s when I was uh, wandering uh, all over the place. Um, and uh, I'm author of a number of other books. So I'm going to be talking about uh, another book of mine titled The Most Hilarious Thing That Ever Happened. It's a collection of fiction short stories of mine that I wrote when I was a creative writing student in uh, Alaska, at the University of Alaska. Um, and uh, so there's 15 different fiction stories, very quirky, strange, weird, uh, with all kinds of different um, bizarre characters who are often uh, bumbling around and searching for something and getting themselves into trouble. Uh, so one of the stories is titled The Miscalculations of a Modern Day Mathematician. And it's the story of a, of a fellow um, who's a kind of, um, I wouldn't say amateur, but uh, not, not exactly a, a respected um, scientist. But um, he comes to the conclusion that the device known as the wheel uh, is, uh, oh, by the way, um, before I go any further, I just wanted to mention that I'm sitting in a uh, really cool cave in South India uh, with a shaft of light that comes down through the um, hole in the ceiling of the cave. So uh, awesome spot. Also, it's nice and cool out of, the, out of the heat of the day. It's a pretty scorching day out there. Um, so, uh, so the miscalculations of a modern day math mathematician is about uh, this uh, sort of weird scientist who discovers that the wheel has no practical value whatsoever. Uh, he determines this based on his um, calculations. And uh, he publishes his, his report and at first it gains uh, very little notice, um, and then uh, it kind of gets caught in the, um, in the underground circuit and then makes its way uh, to the mainstream. And more respected scientists look at his findings and discover that he's correct. Oh my god, he's right. The wheel just doesn't make any sense. It, it doesn't work. Um, and as a result, then uh, things around the world start falling apart. You know, a girl's uh, roller skating and her uh, roller skates jam up and she falls on the sidewalk. And uh, a person's wristwatch with uh, you know, gears in it, um, same concept as the wheel, uh, stops working. Uh, a uh, drawbridge in uh, Portland um, suddenly uh, gets stuck halfway up. Uh, so around the world just kind of things start uh, gradually falling apart because of this discovery that kind of spreads, spreads around the, glo the globe. And uh, it accelerates and accelerates, and, and uh, just everything starts falling apart all around the world, and uh, eventually it, it results in just global chaos. And um, people are you know, questioning the gods and uh, gathering together. It's like it's going back into um, the modern ages, or I mean the, uh, the middle ages or something. You know, technology is just falling apart uh, left and right. And uh, uh, the world is pretty much like on the brink of of uh, collapse, and um, suddenly the scientist uh, sort of pokes his head out from the rubble and says, uh, it looks like I made a little miscalculation. In fact, the wheel does work. It, it makes perfect sense. Sorry about that, folks. And uh, he quickly retreats and um, goes and lives in a cave in Alaska or whatever. Uh, and uh, with that, then people realize, OK, the wheel does make sense. That uh, things start working as normal, um, they pick up the pieces of the of the chaos that ensued as a result of this this uh, misinformed discovery, um, and ultimately the world uh, gets back to normal. So pretty much, it's a story about the power of belief, um, because all of a sudden people thought, oh, the wheel doesn't work, it doesn't make sense, then it stopped working and didn't make sense. Um, so that's that's uh, kind of the theme of the story. So that's just uh, one. One uh, story in my book, uh, the most hilarious thing that ever happened, and uh, I have some other videos about some of the other um, stories that are in there. Feel free to check the link down below. It's available on Amazon.com as both a paperback and ebook, and available on other Amazon sites around the world. So, thanks for watching. Take care.